Hi fellow crafters, I'm coming to you for Pro 31 Designs. Oops, here we go. I don't have one of those fancy cameras to, uh, I mean, programs on my computer to do all this cool stuff that everybody does with the sparkles. Yay! I'm here to announce Pro 31 is now carrying Spectrum Noir markers and I'd like to show you some of the markers, share with you some of the markers today. So let me show you what um, I've received and what I'll be playing with. I have the reds, the yellows, the browns, turquoise, blues, greens, warm grays, cool grays, pinks, purples, essentials, and pale hues. The pale hues are the ones that you will use for um, skin coloring. The essentials comes with the blender and your true black and a few extras to go with your collection. The, uh, at Pro31's design, she is selling the 72 marker set and the 24 pin sets. She's selling the whole kabang. Um, so you'll have the whole collection. And then here is shows you the, um, the whole collection right here. And I'm going to share with you what I've created using the Spectrum Nor markers. So far, I've done a couple images. And this image here is a stamp that I've had in my stash. Pretty little young lady. I think she's from rubbernecker.com. And I colored her in and did a little shading. And I only used three colors for her dress. And the three colors. I got is the BT1, BT2, and the BT4. And the BT stands for um, a blue, blue turquoise. And those are the three that I used for her dress. And as you can tell, the shading I probably used the BT4. Uh, yeah, I used the BT4 and the BT2 for the shading. The higher the number, the higher, uh, the darker the color. For her hair, I used the CT1, CT3, and CT4. Now this is the citrus, um, the citrus colors. And for her flesh, I used the FS23 and then TN2. Now FS stands for flesh, and then the TN is the tan. And for her cheeks, I use the PP1, and the P is the pale pink. And this is an easel card. I use the um, some gypsy paper line. It's an old gypsy paper line. And some uh, Cricut cartridge I used to cut these flowers out were the... Um, Life's a Beach. So there's my card. Isn't that beautiful? I'm trying to do spring, but it kind of turned out a little tropical spring slash a new card. So, and then I made this other card. Kind of stepped out of my zone here. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. And I used this uh, old Stampin' Up! set with the butterfly and the leaves and it has a flower and the sentiment but I didn't use the flower because I wanted to use um, a three-dimensional flower. So I stamped the butterfly twice and then fussy cut one out and the leaves I just stamped those on there twice. And the colors that I did for the leaves, the two colors I used was the 
TN2, DG2, and EB2. Now DG is the dark green and EB is, uh, hold on, let me find it. I think it's the essentials. Let me look at it again. Yeah, EB. I'm not finding it. Okay, I know it's there somewhere. <laughs> it's the earth brown. Duh. <laughs> and then for the butterfly, I use the BT4, which is the uh, blue turquoise and then the um, the citrus three I colored in you know the little dots around the butterfly it's three dimensional let me tilt the card here so you can see it's popping up off the the card and the sentiment says beauty is God's handwriting and I used a spell binder to cut that out I used some prima trim on the side here the paper is by K and Company. And then I add some lace down here, Pro 31 Designs Flatback Pearls, some Prima um, flowers that I had to give it a really nice little shabby look. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you don't have to have all these really cool images to use the markers for coloring in. You can just use them for your butterflies, your flowers, um, your scenes, anything that you have in stamps and color them in. Now let me tell you, on the flowers, I, those were white and I colored them in using the Flesh um, S6, FS6 to get this beautiful pink color. And then I used the Citrus T4 to get the yellow. And that's just another tip. You can also use the markers for um, coloring in flowers. And let me show you some of the um, flowers that I've colored so far. They're beautiful colors. Give you a nice array of colors for your flowers, for your projects. I made all these. I think I'm going to do a spring um, basket of flowers maybe for a card. Because I'm doing a um, swap on my blog and we're doing spring tags and spring cards so I wanted to do some flowers and here you go let me give you a backdrop in there look at all those pretty colors look at the colors that you can create on the white flowers isn't that beautiful well, thanks for visiting my channel. Be sure to go over to Pro31s and like, the, like us on our Facebook page. And get over there right away and get in on the uh, this great deal on these markers. What's nice about these markers, too, I want to share with you is the fact that you never have to buy another one. They are refillable. And check out the prices and, and compare Compare, compare compatible prices of other alcohol markers and you'll see what I mean. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Bye now.